Hello everyone, I'm so happy you're here today. We really need your help. Our picture papers have disappeared again and so have the Bible story pictures that were on them. That's double trouble. Don't worry though, in just a little bit, we'll solve the mystery so we can tell today's Bible story. Today's True Bible Story is going to teach us that I can do what the Bible says. That's our big idea for today. Let's say it together. Ready? I, I can, can do what, what the Bible, Bible says. It's true. I can do what the Bible says. In fact, that's what today's memory verse tells us. Let me teach it to you. Don't just listen to the word. You must do what it says. James 1.22 Let's do that together. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Don't just listen to the word. You must do what it says. James 1, 22. Great job. It's time for worship now. Let's sing and dance and praise God. in the morning and I wiggle my toes, wiggle my toes, oh, oh, I stretch out my arms and I'm scratching my nose, scratching my nose, oh, oh, so I got my hands stuck my feet because I love the way that God made me, I move my head and shake my knees because I love the way that God made me.
One, two, three. Dig the hole right under me. Slowly, I start sinking down until I'm sitting on the ground. I think you're ready for the Bible story. Before we get started, though, I think we need to put on our pay attention glasses, get our listening ears on, and zip lock and button those lips. So let's grab those pay attention glasses. Yep. They're on. Grab those listening ears and get those on nice and straight and tight. And let's zip lock and button on three. One, two, three. Zip, lock, and button. And now let's get our hearts ready by praying. God, we love you so much. Help us to pay attention and learn from you during our story today. Amen. Amen. I can't wait to tell you today's true Bible story. But first, I'm really, really hungry. And I think that I should eat my snack. So goldfish crackers are one of my favorite snacks. Mmm, they are so yummy. Hey, I just noticed something. Are you hungry, Miss Caitlin? Yeah. Are you? Well, I have goldfish crackers, but um, you don't have any. Um, what do you think I should do? Should I eat all of these goldfish crackers all to myself? Or should I give Miss Caitlin some? I think it's a good idea. I'll give her one goldfish cracker to eat. Sometimes it's really hard to give our things to other people. But in today's Bible story, that's exactly what Jesus tells us to do. If you're ready to find the missing pictures and hear today's true Bible story, clap your hands three times. Great! First, let's get our Bible out of the super duper Bible box. We need your help getting the Bible out, though. We need to say our special Bible words together. Repeat these special words after me. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. It's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Let's get started by finding the first Bible story picture. Use your detective eyes to find the number one. There it is. Good job, guys. Let's right. see. Oh no, the picture's missing again. But that's okay. We can use our super sleuth flashlight to help us see the picture. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Wow, it's a piece of bread. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, Jesus talks about people who are in need. That means some people don't have enough to survive on or live. Some people need more food. Can you show me what you look like when you feel hungry? Let's find our next Bible story picture. Use your detective eyes to find the number two. Hmm. There Good job, is. guys. You guys are getting really good at this. Are you ready? Let's see what the picture is. Oh, oh man. Okay, again, it's missing. What should I do? That's right. We can use our super sleuth flashlight to see the picture. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. It's a shirt. Awesome. Some people need more clothes. Can you show me what you look like when you're cold? Burr. Burr. Let's find our next Bible story picture. Use your detective eyes to find the number three. Wow, that was fast. Good job, you guys. It's way up there. Okay, let's see what it is. I don't know why I expected a picture, but look, you guys, it's not there. So we're going to use our super sleuth flashlight and see what the picture is. Are you guys ready? Let's see what it is. <gasps> it's building blocks. Very cool. Some people need more toys to play with. Can you show me what you look like when you're building with blocks? Let's find our last Bible story picture. Use your detective eyes to find the number four. 
Good job. Here it is. Let's see. What is it? Uh-oh, guys. We're going to have to use our super sleuth flashlight one more time so that we can see what our picture is. Wow. It's a trumpet. <laughs> Jesus said that some people like to give food, clothes, and money to the needy. But when they do, they announce it with trumpets. That means mm. they want everyone to see them and say, wow, that person is so nice. But Jesus said, don't be like those people. He said, when you give to the needy, do it in secret. So the only one who knows is God. Then God will reward you for being so nice. That's right. In today's true Bible story, Jesus talked about people who need different things. Who remembers some of the things that these people needed? Some people needed food, some needed clothes, and some needed toys, and some needed all of those things. Jesus loves when we give to people in need. Hey, I have an idea. Let's pretend to go on a hunt for things that we can give to people. Can you pretend to march with me? And say this with me. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking to the kitchen. Now let's open the pantry door together. Ready? Good job. What kind of food do you think that we could give to a person in need? That's a good one. These are great answers. So great good. job. Great job, guys. Now let's walk to our bedroom closet. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking to the closet. Now let's open up our closet. Ooh, how about this shirt? What do you think? That's good. What about this one? I love it. That's perfect. Good job, you guys. Next, I think we should go try and find a toy. Yeah. All right. So we're going to march to our toy box. Are you ready? I'm Here ready. Here we go. We're marching. We're marching. We're marching to our toy box. Let's lift that lid. Hmm. I think I'm going to grab this doll. I love your toy. What did you guys choose? That's going to make somebody so very happy. Good job, guys. Wow, you are all so giving. The Bible tells us to give to people in need. Sometimes it can be hard to give our things to other people, but with God's help, you can do what the Bible says. Hey, that's our big idea for today. I think we should tell it to our parents when we see them. Maybe we should practice it first. Hmm, who could we practice telling? Oh, I know. We could tell our friend Tober the Gopher. Let's see if we can find him. Uh-oh, guys. It looks like Tober's asleep again. I think we should wake him up. And when he wakes up, we can all tell him, I can do what the Bible says. On the count of three, let's all yell, Tober the Gopher, wake up, wake up. One, two, three. Topher the Gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? I can, I can do, do what, what the Bible, Bible says. says. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye, kid. Let's all wave bye to Topher. Let's say a prayer together and ask Jesus to help us give to needy people. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. And caring for me. And caring for me. You have given me so much. You have given me so much. Please help me give to others. Please help me give to others. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, it's time for our blessing. So hold your hands up like you're going to receive a gift. Children, may you look for ways to share with others this week. And may you show God's love to others.